here with the Con Expo 2014 with our latest and greatest scraper. It's the newest addition to our line of pull type scrapers. I'm gonna start at the back of the scraper and tell you, start telling you the features about it. Okay, first off, this is a roller push block. The only one in the industry. Uh, we designed this for whenever you push load in this scraper for it to center up on the dozer blade. It will automatically center up. This will rotate as soon as the greater blade touches, touches right here. That's a feature we got no one else has got. Okay, the next thing I'd like to move to is to show you that it's designed to be push loaded, obviously, and it's braced up well that we don't care what size dozer you use to push it. D10s, 11s, we don't care. It's designed with the strength in it. Okay, after leaving the structure part here, we got a set of four 29.5 by 25 tires, which gives us all the flotation we need in adverse conditions. This scraper, the axles are mounted on four pillar block bearings that are, are greasable, and they're designed to last, uh, only, only have to grease them uh, ever uh, 250 hours. This is the, our rack up here at the top, way up past, past the television right here, up at the top, and it's a feature that keeps the material from going out and falling out the back. It also is adjustable to where you can lay it down for top loading. It's, a, it's an excavator operator's dream because it's low profile and he doesn't have any obstructions in the way. We have a unique system here to keep the ejector raised off the floor while it's in operation. Most scraper manufacturers have rollers that roll on the inside, which is in, it gets in the mud and the dirt and everything. Ours are encased right here underneath uh, a cover and they're wearable replaceable with adjustable bolts right here. As you wear some of this off and come down, all you do is loosen these bolts up and you can keep raising your ejector up. Right here we have steel hydraulic lines uh, that feed the, comes from the power unit up there and feeds the hydraulic cylinders. We have two gate cylinders, this being one of them, one on each side to raise and lower the gate of the scraper. Right down here, we have a router bit. This is one of the strengths of our scraper to keep it from going down too deep in the ground. As you leave here, we, we move on up here. And we have covers over protecting the hoses where they need to be protected from material falling over whenever it's top loaded. This right here is a unique feature of the K-Tech in that we've got wings designed on our scraper to funnel the material into the scraper, which makes it load, uh, carry, able, makes us be able to get a bit larger load in with less horsepower. Greater blade right here guides the material in here and comes down to our cutting edge. We offer a flat cutting edge all the way across for GPS work, land leveling and that type of stuff, putting stuff to grade. Whenever you uh, out hogging dirt, obviously you're gonna have a frost bit blade. We offer three different kinds of frost bit blades. We have a six foot uh, frost bit blade that comes down six feet all the way across. We have a serrated blade that's scalloped out. And then this is our newest invention right here. It's a six foot blade, but it's necked down to be four and a half, four feet of material in, uh, digging into the ground. And we found that this will let you put a bigger load on there with less material falling out the size of the scraper as you're loading it. I'm standing on the top of our floor. We have a double floor. I'm standing on the top skin right now and then there's another floor underneath this that engage, touches the ground. Right back here that I'm touching right now is our ejector. This moves forward to move the material out of the scraper. It's roughly a quarter inch off the floor down here. It never touches it. And what this ejector does, it comes all the way forward across the floor that I'm walking on and it comes up here and we have the only scraper that comes com com cleans out completely it comes over the lip of the floor before it stops. A lot of the other manufacturers stop short where they wind up with a two or three or four inch lip across here and material carries back. Right here, I, I got my hand on the inside part of our side walls and they're double wall side walls with reinforcement on the inside of the wall to keep it from bowing out. Up here is our gate. It's a very large gate, much larger than we have on our other models and it has a slider curve built in it so it will reach out and pick up the material that's running in front of these, uh, the front of the cutting edge. Uh, 
and we have, I'm going to walk right in here now and show you the throw, how big this opening is. This is the bottom of the gate right now, and back over to here, it's 75 inches. The important part of this is the cutting edge is back this far away from this, and also that far, that high. So it doesn't make any difference how high you stack the material in this scraper, it's gonna come out. Up here is uh, one of our lift cylinders. There's one just like it on the other side. And, I'm all, and we got a cushion ride built into our system which makes the scraper float instead of bounce up and down. It works on this. That, this hydraulic cylinder, as well as the other one, has three hydraulic lines coming out of it. The one in the middle up there is the one that goes through the accumulator. And what happens is whenever you hit a bump, it goes to the accumulator. And if it's too big a bump, a squirt of oil will shoot back into a zero pressure port on the truck. This is a unique feature that no one else has got. Hydraulic power from the truck comes from the pump first and comes out right here, a pressure and return line. Follow these hoses down to a valve that we have installed, which is a KTEC valve, which transfers the, the fluid whichever way we want it to go. And it follows hoses down here, goes right on around here, and we have a double filter filtration system in there to take care of any foreign material that comes from the truck, it won't contaminate the scraper because the material is flowing this way. After it leaves here, it goes up the hoses and it go over the thing and, and we got an accumulator up on the top that I mentioned a while ago about the two lift cylinders that's mounted on top and comes right straight back down in here to where a junction point to where the hydraulic oil goes to all the different cylinders.